So Nintendo just announced the Switch Lite, and it's pretty much what we all thought it was going to be. It's handheld only, it's $200, but even still, I am so, so excited. I really can't justify me buying this thing, just because I already have a normal Switch and use that and wouldn't need a Switch Mini. But I'm going to get it anyway, just because the turquoise variant looks so cool. Also, it comes out in September, so I will have just gotten off a summer full of, like, working actual jobs besides YouTube. So I guess I'll have the money to spare. But regardless, this is not about me. This is about five interesting facts that the Switch Mini reveal trailer didn't necessarily directly tell you. Now, obviously, it's not like there's a ton of hidden info on the internet. There's a bit of hidden facts here and there that weren't in the reveal trailer. But if you've already looked at the Switch Lite website and everything, then chances are you'll know most of these, if not all these facts. This is mainly for the people who saw the reveal trailer and then kind of didn't really look into it, like didn't actively look on the website and scoured the internet for information, because then these are five facts that you definitely don't know because they weren't in the reveal trailer. Anyway, sorry about the bad mic quality. It's This is what happens when Nintendo reveals a console while I'm sleeping and then I wake up and it's like four minutes ago, Nintendo revealed Switch Lite and I'm like, okay. So yeah, hey guys, it's Thomas from the Switch Stop and here are five details about the Switch Lite that they didn't mention in the reveal trailer that I found pretty interesting so I wanted to share with you guys. Alright, I'm not going to ramble on because I gotta get this video going, but one quick thing, I'm sorry if I say Switch Mini instead of Switch Lite. We've been referring to this hypothetical thing as a Switch Mini for almost a year now, probably even more than a year, so it's just going to be a weird transition to me getting into Switch Lite, although for the record I do like the name and how they're going back to the DS style of um, naming things. Anyway, let's get right on into it. So the first thing is battery life. Obviously in a handheld only console, you're gonna want to have a more powerful battery. And it looks like Nintendo delivered, kind of. Because if you check the website for the Switch Lite that we'll be using a lot throughout this video, it says that they both have around a six hour battery life, which is relatively accurate. Obviously I've played a fair amount of Switch in my day, most of it handheld probably, or probably like half of it handheld. And it, I'd say it has about a three to six hour battery life, generally ranging on the longer side, more towards six hours, even when I'm playing intensive games. So there's that. But then the Switch Lite not only has the six hour battery life, so it's at least on par with the other Switch, but it says down at the bottom, for example, you can get four hours out of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild instead of the normal Switch's three, which to be honest, I'm... I know it sounds bad, like only four hours at a time, but especially when you're playing in handheld, chances are you're not going to be going on too many extended gaming marathon sessions just with the Switch Lite. On top of that, the normal Switch has lasted me way longer than four hours on Breath of the Wild before. I specifically know because I played it for five hours straight on a train ride without charging. So... Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think they put this here as the absolute minimum so that they don't get into any trouble with consumers, but it's not going to be just exactly four hours. It'll probably be a bit more, probably just like an hour more than the normal Switch's battery, which is obviously a good thing. Next up, I want to talk about the three colors, because there are three colors. There's yellow, there's turquoise, and gray, as Koizumi talked about in the reveal video. But, like, right after that, Nintendo, or I don't know if it was the Pokemon Company or Nintendo, one of them revealed this beauty. I just... I cannot get over how good this looks. This is the Pokemon Sword and Shield Nintendo Switch Lite, and it is the only thing rivaling the turquoise Nintendo Switch Lite, just because the fact that it's all like gray and like white and it looks so clean, but then the buttons are the Sword and Shield colors, that looks good. To be honest, if there were no decals on the back, I'd be completely sold, because this thing would be so clean. But I'm pretty sure that there are decals of the legendaries on the back, and I don't know, I know a lot of people like those, but it just personally throws me off. So I don't know if I'll be getting this or the turquoise, but they didn't talk about this in the reveal trailer, so yeah, there's that. Next up, I want to talk about the dimensions of this thing. Obviously, it's a light version of the Switch, so it's going to be physically lighter, and it's a bit smaller as well. However, the screen size is still uh, 1280 by 720p, which is good because if the screen size is shrunk a bit more, I really feel like most people wouldn't be able to tell that there's a 1080p screen there. So by making it still 720p, 
not only do we get a uh, longer battery life, but it looks even better because the pixels are more condensed because obviously the screen's smaller. I personally never had a problem with how Switch handheld looks anyway. It looks always fine to me. The resolution is never the problem. It's like the modeling and textures. So yeah, I, I think it works perfectly fine, but I just wanted to let you know because there was a rumor going around recently that the Switch Mini would have a 1080p screen and the Switch Lite does not. Next up, I want to go over the physical features of this thing, not necessarily the size, but just what it has on it. So A, this is probably the most disappointing thing for me out of this entire video. It's probably the only disappointing thing, actually, but there is no kickstand on this bad boy. Now, you might be like, why does this matter at all? And it's a pretty big deal for one major reason. You can still connect external Joy-Con for this. So, uh, he even mentioned in the video, if you want to play games like 1-2 Switch, or the only one that actually matters out of these games, Super Mario Party, you're going to need to connect external Joy-Con so that you can play in tabletop mode, just because that's how those games are almost exclusively played unfortunately though there's no kickstand so you're just gonna have to like either awkwardly prop your switch mini up on a book or something or you're gonna have to put it face down and i'll stand over it like that one stupid image where everyone's like looking down into the hole it's just I don't know. Something interesting is that the micro SD card slot has uh, obviously been moved because it is no longer kind of part of the kickstand. It is now just directly where the kickstand would be. So yeah, there's that. On top of that, this is pretty obvious, but it still has the same uh, awesome touch screen. So it functions as a capacitive touch screen, which if you don't know, basically means you can uh, use two fingers at once. So games like Mario Maker and stuff still feel that much better. The last interesting fact is that the Nintendo Switch Mini unfortunately does not upgrade anything in terms of system storage. It is still 32 gigabytes, which obviously is kind of a bummer, but it's it's honestly enough. As long as you get a micro SD card, you won't notice it. And micro SD cards are so cheap these days that personally, it doesn't bother me. But hey, I just wanted to bring it up here because obviously with the Switch Mini, a lot of people are going to want to get all their stuff digitally because you can't like bring in a huge physical collection with you unless you get one of those uh, game cartridge holder thingies. And even then you still have to remember that. And it's just another thing. And personally, I know me and a lot of other people will probably uh, lean towards digital on the Nintendo Switch Mini, which is good because Doug Bowser also announced that they are working on a way to transfer everything, transfer your profile from the Switch uh, from the Switch to the Switch Lite, which is good. I don't know how they don't have this already because you can already transfer profiles from a Switch to another Switch. For example, my sister had a profile on my Switch where all her Fire Emblem Warriors data was. Then she got her own Switch and we transferred her profile over to hers. Uh, which kept all her save data on various games. So I don't know why you can't just do that with the Switch Lite, but they said they're working on an all new way, which maybe moves everything. I'm not exactly sure. Here's to hoping though, that I can play a game a bit on my Switch, go over to my Switch Lite, sync it up, and then continue from where I left off because that would be so cool. However, yeah, for number five, I just wanted to let you know that this has 32 gigabytes um, of of internal storage however you will be able to uh, transfer your uh, data from one switch to another which is pretty important and you would assume that you would be able to do that given that they already have a feature very similar out now I just wanted to let you guys know because it is pretty important if anyone is thinking of making the switch so to speak I hate myself of going from a switch light to a switch normal or from a switch to a switch light or hell if they announce a switch pro anytime soon you're gonna have to do the same thing there anyway thank you guys so much for watching once again sorry if the audio quality is relatively bad that's just what happens when nintendo announces something and i'm literally on my way to work thank you guys for watching you're all the best keep it right here for a lot more switch light related goodness we will definitely be covering this thing a lot more in depth as it gets closer to its september 20th man that's close release date so please Please stay tuned. With that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Thomas from the Switch Shop signing off. Peace.